G'day guys, Dan from Certified Energy Solutions here and we've got Pradeep from SIG Energy. Say hello mate. Hey everyone, hi yep. Dan. Yep, there you go. So Pradeep is basically one of the uh, the top technical advisors in Australia, one of our support lines, so knows his stuff back to front. Then we've got Blake from Solarun. G'day guys, Blake here from Solarun, Gippsland, located in Victoria. So Hello, yeah, mate. basically we're doing a nice little collab today where we're having a great time together, checking out all the technology in Shanghai. Um, and what we're looking at here is a pretty impressive setup with uh, EV chargers running along the, the side here at the front of headquarters. Because um, what are we looking at? Like a nine to one ratio of EV to fossil fuel vehicles in, in China, essentially. So big part of the infrastructure network here. Um, so Pradeep's gonna explain a little bit about what we're actually looking at in the backdrop. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Blake. Hmm. Hi everyone, so this is in front of the SIG Energy headquarters in Shanghai. What we've got behind us is 10 25 kilowatt EV DC chargers and we've got some AC chargers here. This one here is a 22 kilowatt three phase model and we also have an 11 kilowatt three phase model and a 7 kilowatt single phase model in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and it's a beautiful product because the, the EV chargers, SIG Energy, obviously it's their own technology. It integrates with your software. Um, so it gives the client the option through their, their software management suite to essentially charge, you know, charge when they want to charge, how they want to charge. Um, it, it, these, speaking about that actually is from that point of view, are these set up to work off solely just uh, surplus PV generation? So at the moment the EVDC gets its uh, power from three sources, mm. so whether it's uh, PV, whether it's batteries or the grid when it's connected to the grid. So it can use a combination of all three sources mm. to give it that 25 kilowatts of DC output yep. to the car. Yep. And when the bi-directional uh, capability is ready from the cars mm. or from the grid, then it's V2X ready. With the AC chargers, it doesn't do bi-directional charging. Yep, that's right. So you need that, that direct DC-DC charging, which is essentially what we're looking at up here in this top module, just below the inverter is the, the bi-directional capable DC-DC fast charger. So that's when you want to get maximum performance, isn't it, out of, out of your charging? Exactly right. With yep. the EVDC, for, as an example, mm. a 25 kilowatt EVDC charger can um, charge your car within an hour, about 130 kilometer range, which is about three and a half times faster mm. than an average um, seven kilowatt AC charger. Which gives, which gives you about 40 kilometer range in about an hour's charging. Wow, yep. yeah, so this is why we've got Pradeep for this. Um, <laughs> we know the, the product fairly well as well, but yeah, Pradeep's to the next level on this tech. Um, so yeah, essentially, you know, you can kind of add these modules as well to your system down the line. Um, you've probably come across that too, haven't you, Blake? Yes, Where... a lot of 25 kilowatts getting installed uh, mm. recently. Um, especially with the bi-directional charging, discharging when it mm. um, hits. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Perfect feature. Everyone's getting ready for it. Yeah, and at this exactly. point, it's not quite SIG Energy that's holding up that process in Australia, is it? It's, you've developed the technology integration. It's essentially waiting for car manufacturers to kind of, you know, go for all their testing and start implementing, exactly. integrating with external that's products. That's exactly right. So mm. with the car manufacturers, once they sort out their warranty terms yep. and things like that, mm. once they open it up to the public, yep. then V2X is a dream come true. Ready to go. Yeah. And you guys are essentially one of the first ones, aren't you, realistically? We'd like to think so, yes. We'd like to think so. <laughs> so yeah, trailblazing the process through uh, with the bi-directional charges. So no, that's really good. Is there anything else we should really be adding to the, the end user to explain the technology before we move on to the next modules? or? So basically the EVDC module, it comes in two sizes, the yep. 25 kilowatts or the 12 kilowatt. Yep. Um, so the 12.5, I should say, 12.5 mm. kilowatt EVDC. Um, obviously the output is dependent on what size EVDC you get. Yes. And the customers can actually retrospectively fit that in. So mm. you can have the energy controller and batteries yep. to start with and you can retrospectively add the EVDC module. Excellent. And that little RFID tag mm. is for authentication. Which is if we just pan over here and we'll just so point to that. The, um, it comes with RFID tags and the customer can have an extra layer of protection with mm. authentication. Exactly. If, if it's installed in places where it's accessible. Like a, a public use. So That's if you're good. in like an apartment block or something like that, you can actually have a special scan code on a device and just swipe and it'll unlock that. Exactly. And right. you can use that for commercial, like, you know, kind of uh, integration as well, where you might have a staff car park with EV vehicles that belong to those staff members and they can all have an RFI. Yep. That, that's exactly right. So we're moving towards uh, fleet control mm. and bigger deployments of these EVDC yep. and it's uh, fully OCPP so yep. customers can have the option of 
integrating mm. with third-party payment softwares and things oh, like well. that. Oh, well, so essentially a, a Strata-type scenario could essentially charge out. Um, so if they've got a, a Strata-shared battery system they've actually invested in, they can actually charge for the charge rate going through. So that's good. You can monetize and obviously get a better return on investment. Um, that's and you're right. still providing a service, essentially yeah. being an internal retailer. That's right. So mm. things like that are in for the development at this stage. That's pretty cool stuff. So well, let's, talk about about the, let's talk about the ease of installation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. the ease of installation is just like installing a, another battery module. Mm. So just stacking it on top of the exist. Uh, if you already have already installed a uh, battery module system, yep. Um, just being able to come back to site, install another module, mm. uh, which is the EV charger. So mm. it's very. So uh, cost effective, essentially, cost effective, for the yes. end user, we don't have to go to the site and essentially tear down the system and do a, a lot of extensive electrical work. Correct. Um, you're very hands-on, you're obviously the owner of your install. business as well. Yep. Um, you also install you know, yes, the product, exactly. which is yep. a unique point of view. So obviously that relates to the consumer, the end user, as being cost effective for the labour componentry to do that with ease. Yep. Yep, yep, so absolutely brilliant product. Yeah, it's one of the best things we've seen in the market when it comes to EV charge, and we've done quite a few over the years. So. Yes. Um, all right, excellent, guys. Well, I think we've covered over everything. That's really good. Appreciate it.